everybody. Welcome to Bloomington, Indiana, as the Hawkeyes travel to the University of Indiana. It is an absolutely miserable day. Rainy, cloudy winds from the northwest at 15 to 20, temperature 53. Let's hope the Hawkeyes get off to a good start. Brian Hurley kicks off. Tom Lewis takes it at the two and returns it 24 yards. Indiana, first and 10. Cheney over right tackle. He gets five yards just outside the 30. Make it second and five from the 31. Quarterback Pacey complete to Sean Glover, and he picks up four up close to the first down. Three plays later, second and eight from the Indiana 42. Pacey wants to throw. Now he scrambles. He's knocked down by Parker Wildsman for a loss of one. Two plays later, that brought up a punting situation. DiGolio punts dead to the Iowa 26, only a 33-yard punt into that strong win. Iowa first and 10 at their own 26. Ryan Terry left across the 25, and he is, woo, booted rudely out of bounds. You saw the flag fly, a 15-yard penalty. Two plays later, Paul Burmeister falls and loses four. So that sets up a third and 12 for the Hawkeyes. Ryan Terry gets the call. Pretty good move right there. And he scrambles, but he loses the football. Show you a replay on this one and watch as Ryan Terry, after a great run, will simply have the ball stripped out of his hand. It bounces over to Richardson, and after a 22-yard gain, Indiana comes away with the turnover. Let's move to second and 10. Chaney over the right end, and he gains 12 yards and a first down. Make it first and 10 now at the Indiana 46. Pacey wants to throw. Ball is complete on a nice catch to Lewis. Down to the Iowa 36. Good for a gain of 18. First and 10 at the 36. Cheney over right tackle. He is knocked down by Mike Daly for a loss of three. Two plays later, third and 10. Pacey again wants to throw. It's complete to Cheney down to the Iowa 12. Good for a gain of 24 yards. Four plays later, however, the drive stalls. Manapoulos comes in for Indiana. He kicks it, and the chip shot is no good. So the score remains Indiana nothing and the Hawkeyes nothing. Just a little over seven minutes left in the first quarter. First and 10 for Iowa. Cedric Shaw over right guard, and he only has one yard. By the way, Indiana, a tough team coming into the game. They are 4-1 and one on the season. Their Burmeister completes to Anthony Dean for nine yards. That sets up a third and 15. Cedric Shaw is in trouble as he gains nothing out to the 15-yard line. That sets up a punting situation. And Nick Gallery does a tremendous job. 54-yard punt, drives Lewis back. He brings it back over the 40, up to the 45. Good for a return of 15 yards. 522 left first quarter. First and 10, Cheney around left end and he gains four yards out to midfield. Two plays later, third and two. Cheney along the right side, he loses one. He's knocked down by Larry Blue. That brings up a punting situation for the Hoosiers. Into the win, Rutledge does not have good luck. However, he gets a good bounce. The ball is going to be dead at the Iowa three-yard line. 316 left first quarter. Cliff King gets the call. He only gets two yards. Hayden Fry alluded before the game that Indiana indeed was a strong defensive team. Second and 10 from the three. Ryan Terry only gets two yards over right tackle. And that brings up a fourth down punting situation. And look at this one. Nick Gallery hits it. And I'd rather be lucky than good. Look at this roll. It just rolls like the ever-ready bunny. Keeps going and going and going down to the Indiana 35, a 60-yard punt. 134 left, first quarter, first and 10. Pacey completes to Cheney, six-yard gain. Scott Plate on the tackle. Make it second and four from the Indiana 41. Cheney over right tackle. He gains five and a first down. Two plays later, second and six from midfield. Cheney 
gets the handoff, goes over right in behind, nice blocking, and picks up eight. Two plays later into the drive from the Iowa 42, second and 10, Glover around the left end as he jumps outside, picks up four, and at the end of the first quarter, we're all tied up, Indiana nothing and Iowa nothing. Let's go to fourth and three from the Iowa 35. Rutledge again comes in to punt and the ball goes into the end zone, a 35 yard punt. 14-10 left in the half. First and 10 from the 20 for the Hawkeyes. Cedric Shaw over right tackle, he breaks it up and pulls down 24 yards and a first down. First and 10 from the Iowa 44. Again, Shaw gets the call, but he loses two as Indiana's defense shuts him down. Make it second and 12 from the 42 again. Burmeister wants to throw. He finds Scott Slutsker. He breaks a tackle. He's out over midfield for nine yards. However, the drive stalls after another incompletion, and Gallery has to kick into that win. It is a 36-yard punt to the Indiana 13. First down from there. Pacey wants to throw, puts the ball up. There is Scott played at the 31. He brings it back to the right side, looking for some blocking across the 20, and finally pull down. Make it first and 10 from the 19 for Iowa. Big break. Show you the replay one more time. Scott Plate in the right place at the right time says he looks forward to teams throwing against the Hawkeye defensive secondary. Now let's go to first and 10. Ball rest at the Indiana 19. Ball given off to Ryan Terry. He picks up seven tough yards. Make it second and three from the 12. Terry in trouble and loses one. Whittington in on the tackle for Indiana. Third and four, ball rest at the Indiana 13. Burmeister wants to throw. He's going to be in trouble under pressure and knocked out of bounds, a loss of six. That brings up a place-kicking situation. Todd Romano, 36-yard field goal is up and good. 10-29 left to go in the first half. Iowa three and Indiana nothing. Brian Hurley gets the ball underway with the kickoff. Ward takes it and returns it for 13 yards. 10.25 left in the first half. Let's go to second and five. Law over the right end and picks up eight. Three plays later in the drive. Third and six from the Iowa 45. Pacey wants to throw, finds Lewis. He picks up nine yards before he's knocked down. Two plays later. Third and seven from the Iowa 33. Pacey to Lewis, wide open along the sideline, and he picks up 22 and a first down. Two plays later from the nine, Law over the right side, he picks up seven down close to the goal line. Third and two from the three. Law again gets the call over right tackle, but great defense by the Hawkeye front four. Loss of one, that brings on the Indiana place kicker. He puts it up and puts it through and it is a 3-3 game with 4.44 left to go in the first half. Horn kicks off for Indiana. Willie Guy comes up with the football. He's out over the 20. Ball is three, but they ruled he was down. Let's go to first and 10 from the Iowa 21. Shaw gets the call, tries the right side, but oh my, he's in trouble. He loses two. Thurman led the charge for Indiana. Two plays later, third and 12. Burmeister wants to throw. Ball is straight down the field, and there is contact, and we have pass interference against the Hoosiers, and Iowa is a first down recipient at the 34-yard line. From there, Cedric Shaw gets the call, but he's in trouble as he's knocked down behind the line. Two plays later, Iowa has to punt. Gallery into the strong wind, but comes up with a 47-yard punt. Lewis returns it for Indiana, and he brings it back 18 yards before he's knocked out at the 45-yard line. 38-yard return, 201 left in the first half. Pacey wants to throw, finds Glover, and he picks up eight. Make it second and two, ball at the Iowa 36. 
Pacey again wants to throw. Again, finds Glover, and he's out of bounds at the Iowa 31. Two plays later, second and 10. Pacey throws the little hitch pass in the right flat to Law, and he gains nine. Make it third and one now. Ball at the Iowa 22. Glover over right guard. He loses one. Marie Crane on the defensive stop. That brings on the field goal unit. It is a 41-yard try. It is up. It is good. And at the half, the Hoosiers over the Hawkeyes, 6-3. back to action in the second half. And did you notice that Iowa only had three first downs in the first half? Horn kicks off, Cedric Shaw takes it. He's coming back for a 21 yard return out to the 29 yard line. First and 10 from that point, Ryan Terry gets the call. He goes over the right side, but oh my, there's nowhere to go, no gain on the play. Make it second and 10, again from the 29 yard line. Terry over right tackle. He picks up seven yards before he is knocked head over heels. However, the drive stalls. Burmeister wants to throw, looking, and he is pulled down by McCormick, a loss of seven. That brings on Nick Gallery, and you wonder if his leg wore out on this day. He punts, Watts takes the short one, and Indiana has it at the 46. 12, 44 left to go in the third quarter. Pacey wants to throw, ball is batted in the air by Parker Wildman, who had a fine ball game. Second and 10. From that point, Law over the right side, he picks up eight before he's knocked down. Three plays later, second and 10, ball rest at the Iowa, 35. Pacey wants to throw, he finds Beatty, he tries to slip a tackle, he picks up eight yards down to the 27. Two plays later, first and 10, Law, of the left side, past the 20. He's past the 15, gets down close to the 13 yard line. Two plays later, first and six from the Iowa nine. Law over right tackle, he has no gain. Good defense, second and six now. 10th play of this drive. Pacey around the left side, up inside, close to the goal line, he gains eight. From there, first and goal, 11th play of this Indiana drive. Law gets the call, dips into the end zone, and it is a Indiana touchdown. Replay for you. See that Law simply got under the action near the goal line and goes in for the score. Extra point is good, and Indiana jumps on top by 10 with 8.50 left to go in the third quarter, 13-3. Iowa desperately needing something good to happen to them on this day. Horn kicks off. Again, Cedric Shaw at the 10, across the 20, the 25, he fumbles. Ball is free, and let's see who comes up with it. The officials say that the guys in the red shirts do. So let's go to second and seven, end around. Lewis tries it. Shakes and bakes and picks up 10. Let's go to first and 10 ball at the Iowa 17. Law tries the right guard, but he's in trouble. There's Webb on the tackle, a loss of three. Let's make it third and 13. Pacey wants to throw. Now clears in the middle. Jumps, jukes, and slides and picks up 10. That brings up a fourth and three. He did not get the first down. Field goal team is on for Indiana. 27 yard attempt is good. So Indiana stretches their lead to 16 to three. Plenty of time left in the ball game, however. Horn kicks it off. Goes through the end zone this time, so the Hawkeyes will take over first and 10 at their own 20. Burmeister comes out chunking. Finds Anthony Dean and he has 10 yards. Make it first and 10, ball at the 30. Shaw. Over the right tackle, breaks a couple of tackles, loses the football at the 40, scramble for it, button, button, who's got the button? 
Indiana says we do, but the guys that count in the striped shirt says Iowa does. What a play. End around for the Hawkeyes. Dean picks up six. Looks like he might have had a big gain on that one. Let's go to second and four on the next play from the Indiana 28. Cedric Shaw tries to go right. He's at the 30, skips and jumps and has no gain. Let's make it third and four. Again from the 28. Ball is pitched back to Terry. He fumbles it and there is a loss of four on the play. That brings on Todd Romano to try the field goal, kicking into that 25 mile an hour win. The kick is up, it is short. So the score remains Indiana 16 and Iowa three. Let's go to second and 10. Law tries the right side and he gets seven yards before he's knocked down. Third and three, Law goes left this time. He picks up six and an Indiana first down. First and 10. Ball resting at the Indiana 45-yard line. Law tries the right side. He's hit. The ball is free. It's going to be recovered by Parker Wildman. 151 left to go in the third quarter. Let's go to second and eight from the 49. Burmeister throws. Cliff King has it, but he's tripped up for a loss of one. Third and nine. Ball at the 48. Burmeister in trouble. Now gets rid of it, intended for Scott Slutsker. It is incomplete. That brings up a fourth down situation. Nick Gallery into punt, into the wind. 28 yards, ball is going to be killed at the 26 yard line. 16 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Law to the right, breaks a couple of tackles, bumps into his own man. He picks up 20 and a first down as we go to the fourth quarter. Second and eight from the 48. Pacey wants to throw, now he wants to scramble and he picks up two to the Indiana 48 yard line. Third down, Pacey tries the left side, decides to throw, now he decides to run across the 40 and gets deep in Iowa territory. Make it first and 10, ball at the 36. Pacey wants to throw but it is intercepted by Porter of the Hawkeyes in the end zone and Iowa has got to get some momentum going if they want to get back in the ball game. 13, 26 left. Burmeister throws. There's Kent Call. Good catch, good pass, and a 16 yard pickup and a first down. From there, first and 10 from the 36. Burmeister, he's in trouble, knocked down by Mills, a loss of 10. Make it second and 20. Ball back at the 26. Burmeister again wants to throw. Complete to Anthony Dean as he picks up 15. Kind of like a roller coaster on this offensive possession. Make it third and five. Burmeister again wants to throw. He's in trouble, knocked down by Beauchamp, a loss of 13. So the drive stalls. Nick Gallery again has to punt the football away. Ball goes to Lewis. He's across the 40, pushed back now and Indiana controls the ball with 11.15 to go in the ball game. Let's go to second and four from the 47. Law over left guard, good hole, picks up 18 before he's wrestled down. Three plays later, third and seven, Pacey wants to pass. It is complete to Hales and he picks up six. Let's go to the field goal try as the Indiana drive stalls. Ball is blocked. So the Hawkeyes come up with the football again. Time left to get back in the ball game if they can get in the end zone. 5.09 left to go in the ball game. First and 10 from the 24. Burmeister throwing for Terry. It's incomplete. Two plays later, third and 10. Burmeister again wants to throw. Finds Harold Jasper. He breaks across the field. He's going to pick up 11 yards and a first down from the 35. Burmeister again back to Jasper, but this time it's incomplete. Second and 10 from the 35. Paul Burmeister again wants to throw over the middle. There is Jasper again. He's at midfield, the 45, the 40. Finally knocked out of bounds at the Indiana 30 after a gain of 30 yards. Let's go to the first and 10 play. Burmeister finds Terry. Terry trying to slip a couple of blocks, but he has no gain. Two plays later, third and 10 from the 35. Burmeister 
wants to throw. He's hit, looking for Willie Guy, it's complete. First down, gain of 27. Three plays later, third and goal from the Indiana seven. Ball given off to Ryan Terry, he picks up three. Fourth and goal from the Indiana four. Burmeister drops, throws the little swing pass to Ryan Terry. He's at the five and in for the touchdown. The extra point is good, but it was too little too late. The score ended up Indiana 16, Iowa 10 in a very frustrating day as Iowa falls to 0-3 in the Big Ten Conference race. Congratulate Indiana on uh, hanging in there and winning the football game. They did a good job. They uh, have a very fine football team. I was extremely proud of our players from an effort standpoint. We uh, played about as hard as we can play, and we weren't good enough to win the ball game. There's a lot of different reasons for that. Number one would be Indiana, and. Uh, we obviously didn't do a good job offensively the first half. We uh, had a lot of breakdowns. And uh, the second half, we played much better offensively. We finally got one real good drive together and got a touchdown on the board to go with a field goal. But time after time, when we needed a critical yardage, we, we just weren't good enough to do it. Indiana has an excellent defense. and. Uh, it seemed like every official's call to bounce the ball went the wrong way today. It just is a great, dreary day for, in a lot of regards. We had a lot of distractions during the week uh, from a practice standpoint, or at least late in the week. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what else I can say. I'm, I'm not down on my players. I, th I think my players gave a tremendous effort. We kept letting them in the game. Uh, their crowd got in the game. Usually, we take the crowd out of the game. We, you know, we didn't do that at all today. Uh, we'd fumble on kickoffs. We'd get sacked, and you know, and that just pumped up their D more and more. So, uh, I don't think any one play did it. I think it was overall uh, our our mistakes pumped them up. What do you do to come back from 0-3? <laughs> What we've been doing all year. I mean, uh, I only can talk for the defense and the secondary, and we've been playing really well. We've been breaking on the ball, and, and we wanted them to throw more balls, but, you know, he didn't, and uh, they didn't need to. So I think just try to keep positive. I know that's hard, but, you know, there's six games left, and we still go to a bowl game. Uh, we just we just got to come out, and, you know, there's a defense now that people score. I mean, we knew they were a tough ball defensive ball club. So we knew we had to keep them off the board. I mean, I thought today, I thought we gave a good defensive effort, but I guess it wasn't good enough to win. What about in the weeks ahead? Can this team still turn it around? Oh, definitely. You know, I think, you know, we got a good group of guys, and, you know, if we play hard every day, you know, we're going to turn things around. Really important to stay together as a team. Are you doing that? I think we are. You know, I think everybody's got a good, you know, level head and stuff. And, you know, if we hang together, keep the O, you know, keep the O up, and, Oh, keeps the D up, you know, we're going to be okay. It's going to be uh, the understatement of the year, a, a test of, of character for our football team. But then I don't know how Illinois and the rest of the ball clubs did today. But uh, our ball club's down and they're beating up. And uh, it's tragic that no better than we are and, and being uh, a young football team, we had to open up with Penn State and Michigan. That, that really hurt. They fought their heart out today. I, I can't say anything bad about my football team other than the fact. <laughs> We're not winning, and uh, that's three Big Ten losses. I, I don't know if we've ever had that happen this early in my career in Iowa, but I don't know if I've ever had this many problems either. So uh, I guess uh, if the shoe fits, we'll wear it. Is one of the problems Hartley, and can you tell us what his situation is? I'm not. Uh, I would get myself in deep, deep trouble if I commented at all because I am just furious. I'm, can't comment. You ask our athletic director or our president. You thought he was going to be playing when you talked to us Tuesday. As of about 20 minutes before the final workout on Thursday, I did. That's when I was notified. 